Hello everyone and welcome to Colors Fades Gaming Channel. I'm your host Colors Fade. Today I want to talk about The Outer Worlds, a space role-playing game released by Obsidian Studios and a game that I have absolutely been fascinated with since it came out about a week and a half ago. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Not likely, bootlickers. <gasps> Initiate skip jump. The Outer Worlds is some of the most fun I've had playing a brand new video game and a new release title in just a very long time. It is the definition of a AAA title. It is so smooth, so clean, everything works, all the systems are done really well. I can't say enough about this video game. I really think this is a game of the year contender. And for me personally, out of all the games that I've seen and played in 2019, it is my game of the year as it stands right now. Now to give you an idea of why I love the game so much, clearly there are comparisons to Fallout New Vegas because Obsidian made Fallout New Vegas, but put that aside. This is a great first person role playing game and it starts with the role playing mechanics and everything about your character customization. They have done such a good job with this game with giving you skills and perks and everything that makes sense. And it's not just your character that you can customize as you go through the game. Your companions all level up as well and you can assign perks to them, allowing you to shape them into the kind of companions that you want them to be. They all bring something unique to the table and they all have a unique attack of their own. but. Beyond that, you can shape them to some degree to fit your particular playstyle. The core of the game really is two things. It's the combat to a lesser degree, and then to a greater degree, it's NPC interactions and quests. And quite today? honestly, I've just never seen a video ah, game do NPCs and dialogue and voice acting and facial expressions this yeah, good before. It's an absolute ones. joy to interact with every single team in that this drop? game. Is it done? Well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species? Or are we finished here? And the cool thing is the companions you bring along with you for these missions are also going to participate in conversations and they have their own thoughts and their own motives. And this makes their impact so much greater than just being along for the ride to provide another gun during combat. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. What a surprise. Seems we're no longer wanted here. One of the complaints I've seen against the game is that people feel like there's too few guns or there's not enough variety of guns. And I just totally disagree with this assessment of the game. What there is is the appropriate number of guns. Think about a game like Borderlands that throws a thousand different kinds of guns at you and they are all different by about one degree of separation and that's it. The Outer Worlds goes in a completely different direction. Here there's basically one gun of each type. There's one shotgun, there's one light machine gun, there's one assault rifle, there's one heavy machine gun, there's one flamethrower. You get the point. There are mods that can allow you to change these guns in subtle ways, for instance, changing the damage type or making a clip bigger or providing a sight. But each arch type, basically, of a gun has only one kind. As the enemies get difficult, you can find upgrades to these guns. So instead of having light machine gun mark one, you can have a light machine gun mark two, which does a lot more damage. And then again, with the mods, you can customize it. But the cool thing is, in my opinion, what's neat is that you're not looking at 20 different kinds of assault rifles and wondering, oh my God, which one's the best? And did I just loot one that's better than what I got? No, there's one assault rifle. So once you customize it, it kind of becomes yours. It's like your special baby and it does exactly what you want it to do. It functions the way you want it. And you're not going to replace it unless you get the next level up, like the Mark II or the Mark III or whatever. The combat itself feels more like a Mass Effect game, especially with the way you can tell your companions where to stand, who to attack, when to attack, 
and how to use their specials. Uh, for as much as the game is being compared to Fallout New Vegas because Obsidian made it, it actually feels a lot more like a Mass Effect game. Visually, the game is stunning, and that goes for interiors, cutscenes, exteriors, even the sky with the planets in it. It's just amazing. There have been some people who have complained about the color palette and honestly just dismiss them. I mean, this is amazing. And part of what makes it amazing is it's so unique. I love that they went the color palette with it and the saturation and everything. They gave us something different than what's normal. And I really appreciate about that game so much that Obsidian decided to do something out of the ordinary. And so to show you an example of how polished the game is, Obsidian solved the elevator problem from Fallout 4 by putting the controls on the far end of the elevator room so that your companions can silently be moved into the elevator while you are not looking. It's just one of many examples of the forethought that Obsidian put into the game to make the mechanics of playing it that much better. At any rate, this isn't a review or anything. I just wanted to show my viewers what is going on with this game and what I've been doing. I've been spending my time playing it. I think it's an amazing game. It is the definition of a AAA title. It's absolutely slick. It looks amazing. It plays amazing. The voice acting is fantastic. The companions are great. The whole thing is really well written. The, the gunplay is fun. The quests are fun. And it's just an amazing game to look at. If you liked Fallout New Vegas, if you liked the Mass Effect games, and you've been looking for a first-person role-playing game that really has some good role-playing roots to it, lots of dialogue, lots of quests, lots of dialogue trees, definitely just go get the Outer Worlds. Um, it's available on the Epic Store, and I know Epic Store is bad, but it's also available on the Microsoft Store. You can get the Microsoft Pass, for an introductory price of a dollar a month, you can just buy the game outright from the Microsoft Store, which is what I did. It's completely worth the $60, in my opinion. This is a great AAA title. Obsidian has hit it out of the park. I think it is game of the year, or it's certainly game of the year worthy. I'm having a blast playing it. It's been consuming quite a bit of my time because it's just that much fun, and that's what you want your games to be, right? I mean, we're all trying to find something that's just really fun. So if you're on the fence at all about it, I strongly suggest just go get it. It's a great game. All right, folks, this is Colors Fade's gaming channel, and I'm your host, Colors Fade. This has been a look at the Outer Worlds. If you guys have a question or comment, drop it down below. And if you like the content on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.